So today I thought it would be fun to play a little game called, Is It Really a Dupe? I have to admit that I tend to be more of a high-end type uh, makeup lover, but lately I've been so intrigued by the dupe situation. And especially since we're now kind of looking at ways to kind of cut our budgets here and there, I thought, why not look at my makeup kit once again and determine whether or not some of the drugstore products are actually dupes for high-end products. So here we go. One of the first ones, oh wait, before I tell you this, um, I'm gonna go, I've got some really cool ones and I think I'm gonna save the best one for the end. Um, and I'll just sprinkle, you know, I'll just do them every which way so that it's a variety, a variety of products. And yeah, so that's how we're gonna do it, just for fun. And in the comments, be sure to let me know if you agree, if you don't agree, or if you have an alternative that you'd like me to try, um, because I, there's at least one that I know we could maybe do better. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. The very first dupe that I wanna talk about is the L'Oreal versus high-end Dior products. So I bought the L'Oreal True Match and then I have been a longtime lover of the Dior Backstage um, makeup. In fact, I have gone through multiple bottles. And here are my thoughts. I think that if you can find the right shade of L'Oreal, and the right formulation, formulation that works for you, then by all means, this is the way to go to save some money. I think that the product itself and, and the integrity of the brand is really strong. And if you're looking to save some money on foundation, that the, the L'Oreal line is really great. I'd love to encourage you to check out Tamara's Timeless Beauty. She went and did a whole breakdown of all the L'Oreal products, how they work, and you know, explain the whole thing. And so um, that way, I think if you go to that video, you'll be able to see which formulation might work best for you and which one um, maybe could color match. She also goes into how the color matching works because one of the things for me has always been with foundation getting the right color match and that's something that i always find difficult in the drugstore and one of the reasons why i moved away from the drugstore um, for foundations was that it was so hard to get a good match so is it a dupe i wouldn't say it's a dupe but i would say that it's a great way to save a little bit of money or quite a lot of money actually on foundations so i give it a thumbs up and i think it's a great great thing the next thing is um, the Givenchy powder versus the moria powder you can see that the moria <clears throat> is kind of very similar the container is similar it has a blend of multiple different colors a gold in this particular one kind of a rose gold and kind of a white when it goes on the skin it creates kind of that very soft pearlescent finish which is just like the Givenchy and it um, it goes on the skin it's very finely milled it is a beautiful product there's just one thing on me the product oxidized and so essentially what oxidation is is that when the product mixes with the oil on your skin or the air um, in your environment then it can cause the product to, to change in color on your skin. And for me, um, that goes to sort of an orangey color that is not very flattering. 
So if you have drier skin, you may not have problems with oxidation. If you do have oxidation problems, you will find it sort of across the board. I find for me um, with drugstore foundations, with drugstore powders, um, and some of the mid-range powders I, and foundations, I do still get oxidation. If you don't, then this, is a, this Moria is a great way to save some money. The next up was kind of a nice surprise. Um, this was the Dior Skin Correct um, Concealer. This is one of my all-time favorites. Absolutely love this versus the Catrice True Skin Concealer. And while I was on their website, um, I also bought the Catrice Ultimate Camouflage Cream. So I bought them both and spent less than one of these. And I have to say that I found the Catrice to be a very nice product. It did not settle into my fine lines and wrinkles. It provided good coverage. When it comes to saving some money, I would say that the Catrice is a great alternative to a higher end concealer. I do love this camouflage cream. Now the cool thing about it is that I picked a darker color than what I usually do and I think part of it, the consistency of this is nice, the staying powder power is really nice and I picked a color that was a lot darker than I usually go for and it really does help to cover um, that the darkness in the inner corner of my eyes especially at this time of year when it's allergy season so I would say that that is another great way to save some money. Next up is blush. I have two different blush stories to tell. The first is that I purchased this RMS Beauty blush. It's a gorgeous blush. It has a very high color payoff. And then I matched it to the NYX powder blush um, and it, it has a similar type of um, pattern on it and the color payout is very similar. It, it looks very similar on the skin. Both are beautiful pow powder blushes. Both sort of give this beautiful sheen and this inner glow kind of thing that we're going for. Um, but the main difference between the RMS and the NYX is that the RMS is clean beauty. And so if you are like my daughter who is very particular about using clean beauty products, then you will want to buy the RMS. And if you don't mind, but you want a pot powder blush that will perform just like the RMS, then the NYX is a great um, alternative. Now, would I say that these are dupes? I would say not um, because one is a clean product, the other is not, but when it comes to actual performance, I would say that they are pretty close in being dupes. Um, I have two more products to go, and um, this, this next one is a blush. It is the Dior um, Backstage Rosy Glow Blush versus the Flower Pots Flower Beauty. This is a beautiful little blush. It's got a little flower pattern that is embedded in it. It's gorgeous. I found that the color is very similar. I'm wearing it today. Um, but there is a difference between these two blushes. The Dior actually, um, let me change hands. I keep, I keep doing this. The Dior actually blends with your skin to sort of change the color to sort of your own skin but better kind of a thing. Um, but the Flower Beauty is a straight up blush. Is there a lot of difference when it's really on the skin? Not a lot. In fact, I find the Flower Beauty to be a really, I'm just looking at myself in the mirror here, I find it to be a beautiful glowy blush. Um, so if you're looking for something that is similar to the, that iconic backstage, I'm happy to say that that blush is um, a very nice dupe and it's a beautiful blush. It doesn't work the same, but it is another nice product. Gosh. We're now coming on the last item and it is the Tom Ford Stick Foundation at $90 
versus the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation. This, let me put it in the right put it in the right hand for you again today. This stick foundation um, gets high reviews on um, Ulta Beauty website. It um, is a, a fan favorite and it is $6. So I was like really intrigued. I had had my eye on the Tom Ford product four months. My friend Ginny called me and wanted me to try it out as well. Um, and so I bought it at $90 and then I also bought obviously the Wet n Wild. There are some significant differences. The first is the Wet n Wild has a little bit of a petroleum type smell to it. And that puts me off a little bit. It smells a little stale. Um, but the next thing about the product is that it is a very, very thick foundation. And I found that it did not blend into my skin. It seemed to sit on top of my skin. And that's kind of the recipe for mature women uh, for disaster. Um, because when you have a, a heavier foundation and it sits on the top of the skin, it does not look natural. It looks more mask-like. It looks more cakey. So mature women are always looking for something that is going to be our skin but better and that i think that l'oreal has captured that beautifully they they understand that um and and obviously dior and a lot and a lot of the armani does it a lot of these higher end brands get it and i think young women also are looking for that really natural your skin but better look but i think it's a must for older women but in comparison now that i've gone on that big long tangent sorry about that um, but i think that were i a young woman looking for a full coverage product and didn't mind that it was a little bit stiff and didn't mind that it was a little bit heavier I would probably really like this, especially if I were looking to cover like acne and that sort of stuff. I think that this would be great for young women. But if you want something that is gonna give you that your skin but better, blend into your skin, um, just really beautiful foundation, the Tom Ford has it hands down. It is a favorite of mine. I bought it for this video. I did it for you and I fell in love and I have been wearing it every day since. So if I helped you to save money on all the other products I, I shared with you today, I would say definitely, if you're in the market, you wanna try something like this, um, I would definitely splurge on the Tom Ford and I would definitely splurge on the Guerlain powder. I, I love these two products. And the others, I would say, um, these are pretty good. And, you know, you can't really tell the difference and you certainly can't tell the difference on the skin. And so if, I hope that this helped and we'll see you next time. And oh, by the way, if you like this type of content, then let me know. And if you would like me to try something else against the Tom Ford, because maybe you thought that this wasn't a fair a fair dupe. Maybe you think that um, I should should go for something maybe more in the middle range and you have a favorite. Let me know and I'll buy it and try it against the Tom Ford. That's I think that that would be sort of fun. So have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Remember, it's never too late to live your best life.